Today I'm looking beyond red light, specifically along the electromagnetic spectrum into infrared. First, a quick overview of the electromagnetic spectrum. On the left are gamma and x-rays and ultraviolet. Notice that air is opaque at these frequencies. This helps humans living inside an atmosphere to avoid these somewhat harmful rays. Air then becomes transparent in the ultraviolet and we have visible light with every colour that we can see. After red, beyond what is visible to us, is infrared, the topic of today's video. We can see that different infrared frequencies have varying transparency in air. On the right, beyond the middle opaque area, there is a large range with microwaves and all radio waves in general. If we zoom into the infrared range, we can see that air transparency variation close up. Infrared is often divided up into three ranges based on the technology we have for detecting them. First is near or shortwave infrared. Most cameras have detectors inside that can see this range of infrared. Since infrared can have unwanted effects on the final camera's image, cameras are built with filters inside under the lens to block infrared. Removing this filter can make cameras quite sensitive to infrared. Here is a cheap camera with the filter removed. I have here an infrared light. When I switch it on, I see nothing. The camera I'm using to make this video can see some of the infrared light, however it's very dim. With the modified camera, the light is very bright. When turning the room lights off, it's completely dark. Using this light and camera together, it's like being able to see in the dark. This is a similar effect to night vision equipment. However, commercial night vision typically use amplification of visible light as well as infrared, and so can see without an infrared light source. I have here two infrared filters from digital cameras. They look clear, but aqua-coloured under normal light. If I switch to infrared only, then we can see they both turn dark, since most of the infrared light is blocked. Conversely, here is a piece of plastic which does the exact opposite. It blocks all visible light, and so normally it looks completely black. However, under infrared, it turns completely transparent. Next in the infrared range is medium wave infrared, which cameras cannot see. This range is used for things like heat seeking missiles, which uses the medium infrared to see hot objects like jet engines and other vehicle engines and exhaust fumes. They have special detectors. Unfortunately, I don't have a heat seeking missile here to tear down today. The third range is long wave infrared, otherwise known as thermal infrared. This will be the topic of the next video.